Hey guys, welcome back to what should not include. It claims an amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we have been in the LZ Alpha for 1427 cycles now. Long term is my middle name. And speaking of long term, I would really like to get ourselves up into space. I think really the only truly sustainable future is in space. But we have a problem. We have a problem that really would only happen in one of my playthroughs. Yes, indeed, we have run out of dirt for research. As you can see, we've got a little bit coming in. I mean, we've managed to get 45 kilos, but as you watch these little packets of dirt go in, notice how it doesn't doesn't really change that number. We, we are indeed getting a little packets. This is five grams. This is 65 grams. Uh, micrograms is not unheard of. And so I think it is time that we started building ourselves a bit of a better situation here. And as you can see, we've got the compost. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is turn that back on. Let's uh, let's see if we can get that up and working again. I, the reason I turned it off is because we've been feeding our uh, polluted dirt and such forth to the poke shells here. But this has suddenly become a far too valuable a resource to let just go to these guys. Guys, don't worry, we have enough ranches on, so the food is definitely going to be going to them. Uh, but we're going to turn that on for starters. And then I think it's time that we made ourselves an ethanol distillery. As you can see, we've got a few of these plants around. What is wrong with this guy? Let's have a look. He says his harvest is ready. Okay, so that has told me something that I did want to know, whether it is only with... Um, oh, wow, there is 5.4 tonnes there. Uh, if it's only with duplicate interaction that these get harvested. And it turns out, yes, they do. Uh, I have been doing some research, and I found out to power one of these guys from the ethanol output of the distillery, you need four, uh, one petroleum generator, four distilleries, and that's nine arbitries. So we're going to go around and build some sort of setup for that here. Uh, I want to kind of build the distillery somewhere close by. I, I feel like we could just dump the carbon dioxide in here, uh, but obviously I've got plans for this area. Have you seen this oil reserve? Yeah, have you seen the way we're not constantly pumping petroleum in? I think we could probably do something a little bit more nuanced over here. Maybe use someone else's plan rather than my bodge job attempt to harvest it. Oh look! Igneous rock. We've... Oh no. Oh no, we're cooling... We're cooling down the lava, guys. Oh no. So yeah, anyway, that, that's my plan. But first, I want to do something a little bit tidying. Uh, like a little bit tidying. Uh, we need to come in here. I need to put down another power transformer there. That's right. I'm not done taking up the extra power excess that we've got at the moment. Uh, I'm not even sure that we've got an over excess right now. I mean, we must do. These, these guys have got... Uh, got power in their batteries and that's that's not a state of affairs that I like to live in. It really it really is. If we could just if we could just stay here, that would be great. But I'm gonna put down a not oxygen pump here. You guys might remember these things. They do I have one around here somewhere? I think there is somewhere. Down here. Okay, okay, so the thing we've got is this element sensor is detecting for oxygen. As you can tell, there is not oxygen here. But that's okay because we then pass it through this not gate and it will uh, say, hey, there's not oxygen here. Could you please turn on? That means when there is oxygen here, the pump will turn off and we get to have a continual, uh, lovely, clean oxygen atmosphere. This is just to make sure that there is enough pressure. So I'm going to do exactly the same down here, but without the pressure sensor because I just want to pump out all of the carbon dioxide. And what we'll be doing with all these gases? Well, actually, we're just going to pass them all the way up here and connect onto this waste gas line where mostly the carbon dioxide is going into this area where we're growing some mushrooms, but also coming down to here where we've got... Oh, just a lone little slickster left going around and eating the carbon dioxide. We, we need to get some more of these. Why are you glum? Let's turn this up a little bit more and just get one of our guys in. Look, Brum Decipher, any of these. Oh, I also want to perform another safety check in here. Um, Wild Wise and Gorgon Opposite, don't, don't, don't do it, guys. Don't do it. I thought for several times now that they could get stuck at like this situation. This is exactly the one that I'm worried about. They're coming up here, trying to grab some iron, and then being cut off from the retreat. And because they're not in atmosphere suits, they will die. So let's not have that. So I think this is where the alcohol distillery is going to go. As you can see, we're quite close to the steam box down below because I think I'm going to throw the carbon dioxide that it produces down and into the, bo the box down here. Also, I'm going to make another petroleum generator, pop that there and pump all the ethanol that we make down below, unless I need it for something else, of course. But the main thing will be with producing power. But over here, the main objective of this is, of course, to make dirt and this compo these composters will be doing that for us. But there is still not enough here. Each one of these ethanol distilleries actually you need four composters so uh, even if I put another one above there and then copy it out that that would only just be making the right amount and you know what I think that's what I'm gonna do also you can pack them much tighter if you turn the auto sweeper on its side hmm, maybe I'll just quickly redesign this I think first plan of course go through 
Layers of gas are definitely dropping. As you can see, this area is now completely clear, whereas at the end of last episode, we only had the oxygen layer down to here. Uh, I am, however, going to have to pump this out. This, this is just a little bit all on its own. I'm just going to I'm just gonna drag it to vacuum. I think we're just going to slam down one of these. I uh, didn't realize there was a gas line there, but of course there is, so we'll jump over that way, and then we'll just throw it in the waste gas. Wait, how do we get to it? Maybe, maybe we're actually going to jump over this one here. Yeah, we're just going to plug into the waistline there. Uh, and the power should be nice and simple, right? Let's take it off of this one just to, you know, not be an absolute heathen and run a gas pipe off the main power spline. I don't know whether I even want to set that up to a not oxygen. Just just drag it down to vacuum. Just do it. This gas line. Oh, it's very close to being done. Well, this puff is now being set free. We've also got a huge influx of foods here. That's That's... It's nice. I'm always a little bit, always a little bit sad to pop into one of these like natural resources here, natural little like um, parks or whatever, the nature reserves. Uh, I should actually, at some point, getting around to placing an actual nature reserve. Is it down the bottom of here? I think yeah, there's a park sign. Classifies there as park or nature reserve. We should. Uh Think long and hard, guys, about where we want one. Like, like, look at this. Do we want it right in the middle of the base? I think maybe. Look at it. It's looking good for one. Maybe connect these two together and then just slap it down in here? Yeah, maybe. Hmm, now I'm a little worried seeing this atmosphere sensor on and the gas pump turning off. Sorry, this is my oxygen supply if you're not aware. And uh, last time we put in a little bypass here to keep it running all the time. Uh, because it's one of those things that just needs to be running all the time for all the uh, all the numbers to balance out. But as you can see, even though we are st stealing some hydrogen for the chilling of the oxygen for our base, uh, we're still slightly over overfilling. I think I think it's actually time for these extra generators that I've been talking about. Oh no! Ah, look how annoying these two are. I mean, we're never gonna melt tank at a thousand degrees. Oh yeah, sweet. That's another cleanup operation underway. Just waiting for this one to also kick into place. But let's see how the oh we're not actually up and flowing. As you can see, the one down the bottom of the ladder is still under semi full flow it's sending these foot these little packets through and as you can see by the way they're all mixed up it must be because there's just a horrific mess of uh, of different gases down there we need to somehow make this a little bit better I, d I don't know it doesn't seem to be stacking the packs very well so i, I feel like we would have been done just as well to destroy all of this so it's, it's very rare well i think what we actually need is something that just yeah no i don't i don't even know i, I does kind of similar to what the, the 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 other systems we've put in place are with the double double pipes, but uh, it, it's just not going to work. We've got such a random mix of gases that, is, that there's no way of getting them to even stack up in a row, is there? Let alone when all of this is just full of oxygen. Panic at the filtration site. We have just found out that our carbon dioxide line is full. It turns out that the slickster over here is not good enough to eat it. And for a temporary measure, we're going to be running down a pipe. Oh, let me just press the right button. A pipe to dump all of it into this carbon dioxide uh, skimmer over here. But I think the main goal is actually to try and bring it down into this area. Okay, the gases are flowing. I just hope we don't overwhelm the system. Now, let's think about how to run them down into this pipe, shall we? Okay, we've got the plan in place. we just got to wait for the dupes to wake up and uh, come do it. After all the other higher priority jobs and any life support activities and maybe cooking some food, you know, eventually they'll get to it. <laughs> So this is what the stack looks like in situ. It's quite large, actually, but, you know, that's cool. That's cool. We're going to obviously have the burning of the ethanol down the bottom there. And we'll have a stack of composters over this side. We have a nice little V design that I'm working on uh, using the auto sweepers. Hopefully, most of this design is going to be hands off. I can't avoid it with the composters. The duplicates need to come along and flip the uh, flip the compost. Also, the arbor tree branches need to be harvested by hand, which is also a little bit unfortunate. But we're going to be climbing up with this stuff to put it closer to the uh, duplicate homes. Bedrooms, homes, I don't know, I mean, do, do they feel like this is their home or do they feel like the entire rock is their home? Yeah, answers down below. Which, go, which do you feel? Of course, these auto sweepers are the heart of this entire design. As you can see, they can reach the water sieve and both the ethanol distillers. The reason uh, we were having trouble with the uh, layout across the bottom is because they need to be able to reach both this tile here and I think this this tile here, uh, I, I couldn't quite figure it out. As you can see, I can I can get away with this one to put in the wood, and they need to pick up polluted oxygen on uh, this side. Uh, we will be feeding lumber in past this conveyor chute and a conveyor receptacle. Uh, 
this acts as an overflow all the excess is going to be dumped down below uh, and this will just be storing up enough so it doesn't pile up on the floor and give us some troubles uh, uh, we'll only have one place uh, these both these two conveyor loaders will be taking away all the polluted dirt to the stack of composters that i said we're gonna have over this side so the Ethanol distillers, funnily enough, make ethanol, so we're going to have to try and di uh, get rid of that from the process so they're not uh, not swamping the area. And of course, the same with the carbon dioxide down below, but I think I think you can see our plan there. Uh, interesting what I'm doing with the bridge here. I should show you. I'm taking the, uh, the pipe out and down so that the emptying of the ethanol gets priority uh, over the one above it. Uh, this is kind of an idea that as it goes down the the little bubbles can grow in size until it stops these guys opening up and backing up and stuff like that so i want i want to give the little bubbles priority and then they can kind of all stack up together and the the, the bulk of the liquid should continue moving it's a theory anyway we'll see how it works out okay i'm kind of on the wrong side here we'll, we'll figure out how to get through here that that, that might be the actual toughy of this mission is coming up maybe through here i think yeah through here is the way of course coming down and in, into here we've got to be sure that this is fully fully uh thermally insulated in fact i'm going to use some ceramic here uh because i just i don't i don't want this stuff flashing into steam on me it would be very inconvenient Okay, I'm totally not sure about the path of this particular... Uh, like, this path is good. I'm not sure about this path here, but we'll take it for now. Why are you guys just hanging around here? The door is... Uh, ah, aha, wait, I see, I see. Uh, so, what's laying on the floor? We've got some igneous rock. Is this an igneous rock ladder? Let's find out. Igneous. Okay, we'll just... Build a little bridge there and maybe they can save themselves. Miss, you're going to take a little bit more special consideration. Let's let, let's try the same trick and see if... Oh, let's try the same trick and see if we can make that work. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Freedom! Oh, of course, a little bit of, a little bit of mining on the way. I wonder how long they were stuck up there. Uh, I wonder at what point the number of slicks we've got down here are overwhelmed by the output of these guys' carbon dioxide. Now, I know that is looking quite high, but it's also the same value as the steam above. So, like, an equilibrium has been reached. Is that good? Is it not? I don't, I don't know. All I know is these guys aren't really getting any food. Other than the sweep orders, I think we've done with this distillery. I've put a uh, rather nice wire going on in there. I've got a feeling at some point we're going to be upgrading to this continual heavy wire at some point. Waiting for them to make a bypass bridge up here so I can bring the main power line, power spline up the back here uh, and plug it all in. Of course, that's fine because we don't really want them doing anything until we've got everything sorted. These auto sweepers are going to be passing, uh, let's have a look in here, in the organic polluted dirt down to the system. I'm going to copy these settings across and bam okay cool uh so i'm gonna put some tiles down so that the uh, polluted uh, polluted dirt can't outgas uh, and then over here we are going to have ourselves a whole bunch of let's find them composters now i've put down a, a carbon lock here you know so the carbon dioxide will sit down below and they come in and out through this door at the top there uh, but i don't think they're actually mainly oh that was that was great placement great great placement uh, i don't think they're going to be coming in and out through that way mainly to be honest with you i think they're going to be coming over the top this way yeah this is the way that i'm going to do it we're gonna have like one there one there and maybe one up here we're gonna, we're gonna need a few of these it's uh yeah not enough <laughs> rough calculations i think we need 16 wise once again finds himself down here i'm gonna just tell him straight away to go back to hospital uh yeah back to hospital you heard me right i almost guarantee he's gonna be in a very bad way before he gets out of here look why is he going this way dude i don't, I don't understand what you're doing ah oh, now look at you now look at you thankfully light light wounds light wounds were all he took oh no he's going back into the hot what are you doing no why just yeah run, run through the hot water okay good good path finding there good path finding another thing i need to do is pre-charge this line here with water but thankfully we seem to have left some apparatus waiting around here for us so if i just uh, cut that there to make sure we don't flood the uh the, the steam box down below because you know it's not already flooded uh, and pop that in like that oh i'm gonna have to uh, deal with the automation but i think you can see my plan i'm just gonna fill this in with water from down here hopefully 
or we'll pick up his normal water. Okay, cleanup crew are holding us up here. I want to be able to close off these walls but and get rid of these ladders, but we got bits like that up there. So uh, I'm going to come over here and press the go button. Go, go, go. There we go. That didn't take very long. Mm, just realized I've got this ever so slightly wrong with the incoming line of items here. I want to be able to filter out the sand so they don't go into this one, bypass the receptacle. So I'm going to have to put down a shipping... Oh, no. Oh, it looks like I am uh, a little bit short on the research. There, this one. I'm not going to be able to do that because I don't have the dirt. That's why we're doing this. Hmm. We may have to hand deliver the sand a little bit. There, there definitely is room for a little bit of improvement on this system. I'm going to run it up there so that when we do want to put in the sorting mechanism, we can do so. Okay, and that'll probably be our way to break in or out if we need to do so later. Some things happen to make some water flow. I honestly, with you, I don't, I don't know. I have no. Maybe, maybe a little pocket or something over here tipped over. Oh man, Frank, I got distracted with water, and look what you undid. Ah, oh, good, good work, good work. Let's, uh, let's deconstruct that, shall we? Yeah, beautiful. Maybe, maybe this one then. No, Frank, Frank's just gonna have trouble no matter what we do. <laughs> Okay, I've boxed everything in, and I think that means we are ready for a test run. We're going to do that, and we're going to let the duplicates come along. I want to actually, in here, go to industrial in ingredients and come down to the uh, lumber. Uh, we're going to allow that for manual use. I'm going to quickly set up a, uh, a transformer over here, because I don't want this the pulling straight off the main spline. Let's see how long this takes for them to build. Uh, obviously, the lumber's going to be going in through there. When we get the sorting mechanism, I'm going to also be sending sand down to this conveyor chute so that the auto sweeper can watch the water sieve. But until that happens, we're just going to have to let the water sieve go. We also need to think about cooling, and you can see that I have left some great big gaps here for some radiant piping, but I just I need to start getting some dirt turning. Oh, we need some dirt so much. I think we can get rid of this line of water here. Uh, does this overflow? Does this system here overflow? overflow or does it do exactly the same amount of water let's have a look in here actually i've had to come and look down in the build thing here uh so water 100 thousand grams polluted water a kilogram brilliant they are exactly the same love it which i guess means i'm just dumping that water here the, the excess water in this pipe obviously we don't want to be adding any more to this system else it will just all clog up and that would be horrific Oh, turns out it's quite hard to get people to pick up lumber. Mad Frank has found some just down here. Beautiful, beautiful. We should be going back and forth a few times now to make that happen. Oh, that, that is so good. Where is Miss going? Mm, I'm not sure that I want to allow that for the moment. Yeah, this this through path business. No, I'm not. I'm not about that at all. Let's. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to change that. Let's let's just shut this area down here, uh, and that should hopefully help. Okay, the lumber is being delivered. More importantly, is the polluted dirt being made? If we have a look down below, yes, we've got six kilograms so far. Oh, beautiful. So it drops the polluted dirt at 20 kilogram packets. That's now going to move its way through this system, hopefully staying relatively whole. It was still got 20 kilograms. Beautiful, beautiful. That was an instant pass over. That was pretty good. As you can see, we're already pretty warm. We're going to have to get a proper, proper hardcore cooling system going down through here. Did we lose any going through this system? We didn't. And then we're going to drop off over here for some polluted dirt. Beautiful. Now it's going to require flipping, but as soon as that happens, we're going to get our first actual dirt. Oh, hey, Wise, how are you doing? You're storing materials. What are you going to store? No. No, 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 no. You, you can't do that. Let's, uh, I mean, you're going to have to do this one. So he's come to pick up the lumber to put it back up there. No, no. So this needs to be a sealed off unit. Well, that's an unfortunate time to run out of power. Just it was trying to pick up some of the polluted dirt. It is currently at 20. Well, it says 20 kilos, but we can see it's losing. But the power's come back and away it goes. What a great system. I love this. So my plan now is to copy this out going up a few more times. I think I can replicate it going from these tiles. If you uh, think that these two airflow tiles here will be these two tiles underneath the composters. I think I can stack at least three more up here. I think I'm going to need at least three, maybe a fourth. I tested out with two in that creative world and that got overwhelmed after um, merely five cycles or something like that so we will have to make at least three or four also going to be running this wall up this side here i'm going to keep the power
now are uh, locked behind this door and we'll be running uh, the conveyor rail going up this wall so that we can uh, make the drop-offs to the auto sweepers without letting too much outgassing happen. Oh, I just saw some, yeah, regolith get delivered. Wonderful. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Does that mean we're out of sand though? That would be bad. No, no, we've got, we've got a lot of sand. How did this happen? How did this happen? <laughs> We've got some ethanol down the bottom. It's an unbreathable gas. So that leads me to believe that the... Yeah, look at this. Oh, man. Look at the temperature this is coming through at. How? How? Well, I mean, it's obvious how, but... Man, that's not great. That's not great. I mean, where, though? Where is it picking it up? It's oh, I mean, it's coming out here at 72. So it's hardly surprising. You know, cooling system we're talking about. Let's do it. Well, here's something that never fails. I'm going to put in a small system that we can then expand out to a bigger one when we need to. Yeah, that, that always goes well when you take an old system and retrofit some new stuff into it, right? With the pipe work in place but no liquids, I have gone and stolen the uh, the overflow line from the water over here because it's just it's just not going to do that at any point ever. So we've uh, stolen the pipe work to feed into this tank here. The cooling loop is going to be sharing the input with the... Uh, with this pool of water that I've got down here for a little while, just until we can get some actual uh, actual water in the tank. This will keep the cooling loop turning, but turning at half the speed. Hopefully this will uh, not, not be too much for it. I'm using water because water is the substance that I have access to that has the highest specific heat capacity, and that's really the thing that determines the Thermo Aqua Tuna's uh, overall cooling, because it does 14 degrees, and like how much actual heat in there is degrees times specific heat capacity times how much you put in there or something like that it, it, it all hinges on on that little fact there the pipe is blocked low i got my tank the wrong way around <laughs> it's a quick fix really did you know you can't rotate the liquid reservoir i didn't until today i thought it was just going to be a case of turn it around and maybe extend one of the pipes a little bit but no 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 i had to completely rework all of this no problem no water is going into the system uh, i kind of wanted it to pass through there first because it's very hot mm, that's fine we'll just We'll see what happens. I think we might have some trouble to begin with. It should be fine as no one, as long as no one is passing in any lumber. And it looks like I'm not allowing them to pass in lumber right now anyway, so perfect. I assume I did that for overheating reasons, if I didn't put that in the video. I mean, it's kind of good that it's cooling down because of the environment, right? My big worry is all the different types of liquids we've got in here. But I believe, I believe, oh, we should probably mop up that crude, uh, that the water is the lightest of the three and it should flow on top that's kind of why i did it here right in the middle oh we've got things overheating we knew it was going to be a problem but i didn't realize it was going to be quite here but it is the thing that i kind of want to demonstrate so if i press shift f3 you can see all the dirt that has come out of this area dirt and clay that has come out of this little production facility here of course turning the polluted dirt into dirt in the composter and the um, sand or regolith in this case is being turned into clay from the polluted oxygen these are being fed out and on to the main line here where the dirt is actually coming out and along uh, as we have from uh, down below where our where our petroleum facilities are creating some dirt this dirt is now by preference jumping over all of here and coming to be delivered inside the research facility which means we should be getting a fair amount of research done now a beautiful one do we still have do we do we have the sorting tech yet five off five off okay so i'm going to destroy these and put some iron or maybe even some steel ones in yeah the steel ones are relatively cheap i'm gonna go for it so cooling is occurring we're also topping up with extra hot water we just now need to decide how much water we want to have in backup because of course at some point we're going to build more composters up here and maybe the farm will go over here i was thinking about building it closer to the dupe because as i said earlier but i think it would be nice to have it in, in the, the compact system here we'll just throw uh, composters all the way up the side here and then have a nice uh, lumber farm here but the, the lumber farm doesn't need to be huge okay that's a cycle gone down and i'm just gonna snip this right across here uh, thankfully we don't really even need to think too much about what happens with the water i might just pump it back up i did also want to disconnect it oh, i'm gonna have to actually dis deconstruct that one well the base is getting some boiling hot water I'm, sh I'm i'm sure nothing bad will come from scalding hot water going into the base i mean can we watch some green turn to red here let's have yeah oh oh it's horrible oh look at it it's totally radiating out we are we're gonna have a bit of a problem here i think it's it's not a massive problem but it is a problem 
Uh, let's let's see what happens over this way. Wow, my computer is chugging trying to figure out what's going on here. Wait, I've just realized that it's all being passed across. And oh no, it's going to completely overheat our uh, our uh, plants up here. So I might need to just do that. All right, it's over. It's stopped. <laughs> I only fill most of the pipes in the place. All right, I, th I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. There are like semblance of cooling machines around, so I think we'll be okay. But research complete. Oh, it's been a while since I've said that. We've got all sorts of stuff here that we want to work with, but in particular, if I could get rid of that, thanks. I want to come into this shipping. I want to get the solid filter out of here, and I want to put them, yeah, this way around, in fact. Cool. So with this guy in place, we need to actually bring this conveyor rail down. Of course, we will be uh, searching for sand. I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to split one of these guys off like this to go and deliver some sand to this conveyor uh, chute over here. The next time I want to come over here and I want to just drop some sand down the side here and also another one over here. So I'm going to split those uh, both like so and just drop the sand down below onto this deodorizer underneath where they both these auto sweepers can reach the sand uh, and give it to the deodorizers. I'm gonna see whether I can just feed regolith in actually that I think that would be a better idea Let's let's come down to the Filtration medium. I know how the alphabet works really and uh, just put regolith in um, Yeah, cool Very satisfying to just sit here and watch the temperature drop down in the system beautiful Okay, this is looking good. I, all I've done is gone and copied out this composter setup twice more over here and then put down a couple of arbitraries up the top. We have covered almost all of their issues apart from the pressure. The fertilization is just going to happen. Don't worry about that. They want dirt. Do you know what we're making over here? So don't worry about that. I'm actually going to put some receptacles in. We'll talk about that in a second. I'm hoping that if we just turn this switch on over here, the uh, the lumber will be brought through, which will start the whole composter cycle up. And then the, the pressure from the oxygen being produced here, because of course we've got a load of uh, deodorizers, but even if it's polluted oxygen, it should push the pressure up high enough in this little area here that it can keep these guys sustained. I've even put some airflow tiles in down this central column here so these carbon skim pipe blocks what well so then these carbon skimmers can run why is the pipe block waiting on a filtration medium delivery okay well i've asked for that to happen anyway uh right up here i want to try and do a little experiment you can see that this guy comes all the way out to this tile where that puffed was uh, one beyond this one and this guy will come just to one beyond that one the next thing i want to find out the experiment time is if i have a conveyor receptacle and we twist this round here uh, in fact let's use a conveyor Conveyor loader because then uh, the the uh, the auto sweepers can pick up and pass uh, across. So this has its input on this side. Uh, if I pull up the overlay, uh, you can see it is on the left hand side. I want to know whether this auto sweeper could pass. I don't know. Let's say this lead up. We'll, we'll give it a go as soon as it's in and hooked up. Okay, cool. Let's try the lead. Uh, refined metal. Here we go. Iron lead. Bam. Uh, I don't think it's because there's no conveyor rail, but let's give it, let, let's give it to it just in case. Okay, with the conveyor rail in place, we can see that actually it's just cosmetic. This top tile here doesn't actually do any work for this conveyor lo it's a, uh, conveyor loader. It's a little bit of a shame if I am to be honest with you it means that we're gonna have to give a conveyor loader to each one of these auto sweepers because they they fit just perfectly across the top of these plants here as they are we're now filtering off the dirt I'm a little bit worried what happens when the receptacles fill up and then the dirt backs up all the way to here is this gonna shut this down do I need to put a bypass in I think I might need to but we'll we'll wait and see what happens here Ooh, well that's a little bit of an error isn't it turns out I uh didn't put the right thermal aqua tuner in. I'm just gonna crack it open. We'll fill it back up with with water. Oh no, that's not the way. Alright, we're gonna have to go in through the top. The steam will come out, it will condense on these uh, liquid pipes up here and hopefully it won't cause too much of an issue. And we've just gotta get in there and deconstruct it. I don't know why it wasn't made out of steel. I, I oversight. These things happen. I don't know when I missed it though. Oh, and away goes a bunch of the lumber. Because that's right, well, that's uh, exactly what we need right now is uh, heat into the system. Alright, there we go. Water is being made. Uh, it should just be dropping down here. We can use the same system that... Oh, no, wrong one. Uh, we can use the same system that we used last time to uh, this time go, come over this way and fill into this pipe. Maybe we'll bring it down and across. Yeah. Okay, we're actually very fortunate. We didn't get any other gases than steam in there, and it was quite a lot as well, so... Uh, yeah, I think we'll I think we'll just be happy with how that went. We need to get this repaired, but then all is good. <laughs> Pipe's cold. The area isn't. Do you remember when I was saying we'd never need that overflow? 
Uh, well, there it goes. 66 degree water. Ho hopefully, we can start cranking this down a little bit more. Just a little bit. 66 isn't too bad, but I would, would have preferred, I don't know, 20 or something. So I'm watching this splutter on and off, on and off. I think we need a full Pachinator just up here. Uh, one of those ones with the two bridges and a shut-off valve. Looks like my theory was right with the pressure. We're slowly getting enough oxygen up here that they are, well, uh, going on and off uh, of being up to full pressure. So as, as it starts to build a bit higher in here, we're actually going to have to wonder what we do with it. Because this will just continue outgas. I suppose at some point it won't outgas anymore. Can't remember the temperature it outgasses at, and it doesn't say here, the, sorry, not the temperature, the pressure that it outgasses at. There is a, a maximum pressure to it, though. Well, here's a great big problem that I didn't see coming. I mean, I can't, we, we, we saw things were up a little bit earlier, but oh man, we're gonna have to try and like dig in through this way. It's definitely for another day. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to lower this window spike down and in and try and like get the the get the temperature to like suck its way up. It, 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 it's minor problems. It's a pretty big problem. Well, we've kind of fixed it. We've obviously cooked a lot of uh, petroleum up into sour gas here, but we've got the temperature being passed back up and through that. I'm a little bit worried about the way the igneous rock is forming almost instantly, but we'll just let that carry on like that. Back at the top, we still have pressure issues. I was kind of expecting more outgassing to have happened. It's uh, it's all kind of held up over here. I think we are actually maybe running out of lumber now. If I come over and have a look in the industrial ingredients as soon as I find them down the bottom. Now, we still have a, an incredible incredibly large amount of lumber just kicking around. Uh, these guys really need to uh, get their job on them. If you remember way back at the beginning of the episode, we were actually trying to uh, research some rocketry. So let's do that now, shall we? I wish there was an easier way of wrangling these puff princes. I'm just gonna just gonna kind of deal with him for now. We could open up the top here and let him out, but I, I don't think that's what we are going to do. He really is messing with the uh, with the pressure here. It's a shame that we're running on such fine margins. If we could get up higher, I would totally be about that, but uh, it, it turns out no. So uh, yeah, let's let's just get rid of the uh, oxygen eater. So this system just backs up until it's full enough to fill a little bit up in here, and then it will come rushing out either three or four little blobs uh, all full and then uh, this uh, liquid shaft will cut off again and uh, allow them all to start backing up it's it's a beautiful little system also i can get rid of these if we've got a pressure issue i'm going to steal a whole bunch of oxygen from this backed up system over here we're going to bring it all the way down and vent it into this area where the farm is well just underneath the farm but given that there's a carbon dioxide layer underneath i should imagine it will raise up this should hopefully Hopefully I bring my arbitraries up to a standard pressure. It's 120 at the moment. I just, I just need to get up. Well, I only want to get up to like 500 or so, but I'm fairly sure this gas vent is going to get us up to 1500. What's this? I've added a new entry to my log, cycle 1500. I wonder if my rats ever made it on that asteroid. I hope they're eating well. What rat? These aren't rats. How dare you? How dare you? So what, the portal is some sort of teleportation device that they were experimenting with back in the day and they used to send rats through and obviously they couldn't tell that a rat came through without the full contents of its brain. So when they started sending people through, duplicates, uh, they came through without the, I, I don't know, I, is, this, is this the story we're being handed here? Haha, <laughs> so I was worried about this backing up like this. Okay, so let's grab a conveyor bridge, let's uh, copy it out. I just want to copy it like that because First and foremost, it will try and get picked up by the uh, by the sorter here. Uh, and if it's full of dirt, I don't care whether the sorter deals with it or not. So we just pass it up and around and it carries on with its journey. Beautiful. I know this episode is going a little bit long, but I, re I really want to see the, the trees grow and the whole system tick over. I'm sure you guys do as well, right? Okay, there we go. There we go. It is turning. All right, that's that's nice. This... This dirt can be free. Oh, look, this is all the dirt we backed up from down here. Beautiful. I've also noticed that the dirt that comes from the uh, ethanol generator is no good. It doesn't It doesn't get picked up. We need a duplicate to come in and grab it. And that, no, we need to We need to redesign this bit. Uh, There's no other reason. We actually need more slicks. We, we need quite a few. We're definitely building in the amount of carbon dioxide we have down here. Also the ethanol, which kind of worries me. 
Oh, oh, here we go. First harvest is away. It gets picked up and thrown in the lumber chute. So it should now be escaping via here. It is. It is beautiful. And it comes down, joins the main line as uh, this conveyor loader was hooked up onto. Immediately starts making us a little bit of ethanol. I've also been going around and automating up these conveyor chutes to make sure that I'm not just overloading everything with regolith. I'm a little bit worried if it backs up, but we'll, we'll figure something out. If it backs up and through the solid filter, we'll have to try and do something else, but I, th I think we'll be fine for the moment. Okay, there goes some of the first polluted dirt from that. It's going to come up here. Of course, we have been turning over some polluted dirt from um, lumber found around the map. So it's now gone and put it in the compost. Beautiful. Immediately legit is there to turn it over. And hopefully very shortly we'll have some dirt. Look at that seven. Okay, it drops 10 kilos of dirt and that goes onto the main line where it just gets taken out, thrown away, or more importantly, taken into here for the... Uh, for the fertilization of our arbor trees and i think with that i am going to say this is a fully finished system it's uh, almost completely self-contained just need to get a little bit of regolith in from space and to celebrate i'm going to grow into the furniture i'm going to roll down here i'm going to get out my park sign and i think we're going to make ourselves a little national park right here oh wise you you look a little bit a little bit hard done by there well i will send him to hospital in a second but with that down oh gonna take a second mathic rock if we check out the room overlay here, you can see that we're actually ever so slightly close to going over. The maximum we could have had was 120, and indeed we get away. Oh, Mad Frank's got taken down. Ah, oh, he was down in the lava pit. I should deal with him as well. But we now have a, a nature reserve as well. Oh, man, that is amazing. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where, well, finally we have some rockets so we can put that in over here. And I'm going to uh, be dealing with more lava it turns out i was not looking for uh, i was not expecting it to have come to uh, come to igneous rock by now and i'm wondering whether we can go down take a tile out and then uh, be trying to mine out this igneous rock with the power of the mining laser but i will see you then oh and we're gonna do that bye